What's up gaming heroes? Welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at pay to win in World of Warcraft. Thanks as always to my wonderful patrons who continue to support the channel. You'll get access to my awesome guides on erosiumtv.com. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so yesterday I released a video which was called, wow, 9.2 ruined, pay to win, blizzard abuses players why did i release such a negative titled video i did this because i am probably the most passionate positive content creator in world of warcraft period i have reached my limit with world of warcraft the limit being seeing obvious manipulation of the player base to spend real money to get player power real money equals player power that is really where i draw the line when players can have a clear advantage by spending real money on the game for me personally it's overstepped and it's become a clear manipulation of the game now i've had a huge amount of comments and feedback on that video and i would love to address some of those comments and feedback here in this video so one of the uh, one of the clearest indications of like just dissatisfaction here was a, a variety of comments here where people were saying uh, it's the player base's fault that the prices for legendaries are so high. And for anyone that didn't watch the previous video, the prices for legendaries at the moment are around 300,000 gold. So that's effectively buying a World of Warcraft token to the, the average player. 300,000 gold is completely unattainable through just farming. The average player does not have the time to be able to farm that amount of gold. I've done Zerath Mortis, the newest zone in World of Warcraft, for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks now, and I've only accumulated 85,000 gold from that zone alone. This is just from doing the quests. I haven't done any gold farming or anything like that. That character has accumulated that sort of gold. So the average player certainly doesn't have that amount of gold to be spending on a legendary. If they want to get involved in raiding, and I'm not going to be funny, but a lot of guilds are going to turn around and say to their players, if you don't have a legendary, you're not coming to raid. So they're going to need a legendary to come to raid. Otherwise, they're going to be irrelevant on the DPS charts, going to be irrelevant on the healing. They're just going to be irrelevant in general. They need their legendaries to really be able to raid. So players are now put in the, a difficult position that they need legendaries. They haven't got gold. They don't really know how to make gold. They don't have time to make gold, but they need this amount of gold, this huge amount of gold to buy a legendary. Oh, oh, I can buy a WoW token and that will get me 300,000 gold. Isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient how that works? Interesting that. So that comment where people are saying it's the player's base's fault that the prices are so high in World of Warcraft. So I think that this is quite a short-sighted comment, not really thought through in my opinion. And the reason for that is, uh, is well, I'm going to discuss it now. World of Warcraft Shadowlands is a game designed by Blizzard. The professions are a game design choice. The requirements to unlock legendaries are difficult, but they're also a game design choice. The materials required to create legendaries are also a game design choice. The rarity of those materials is also a game design choice. I'm, I'm sensing a pattern here. This is, this is getting weird. This is getting weird. The exclusivity of crafting those legendaries locked behind a reputation grind is also a game design choice. Do you think that Blizzard lined up all of these game design choices and just accidentally made it so players would would charge so much for legendaries don't get me wrong players are gonna decide the price of legendaries ultimately but 
if you're making legendary so difficult for players to craft and you're making the value of the materials so high and you're creating an exclusivity in the market so only really hardcore players who could do you know proper rep grinds and really get sweaty about it can actually do that crafting then you're going to be left in a position that you have to put the prices so high then the player base are naturally going to want to make profit and make gold, right? But to a point, but to a point, they can only do this if there is exclusivity in the market, i.e. the rep grind, the making it super difficult, super expensive to get into legendary crafting. It literally costs millions of gold to start into the legendary crafting market. If you go out and try it now, you will see. Blizzard designing legendaries to be such a difficult market to get into and then creating exclusivity in the highest form of legendary now means that the players are given a lot more room to demand higher prices for these legendaries. After all, no player in their right mind is going to turn around and say, look, this legendary took me three weeks to grind. I worked my butt off to get it. And I farmed all these materials or I bought all these materials and they cost me around 155,000 gold. They're not going to turn around and be like, oh, you know what? It cost me 155k and three weeks of work. I'm just going to stick it up for crafting costs. No, of course not. They're going to want to get some of their profit back. They've worked their butt off and they should get some profit back. However... However, something Blizzard could have done to make this so it wasn't such extortionate rates, Blizzard could have easily made it so the materials required for crafting weren't so high, the scarcity of these materials weren't so low, i.e. the rar rarity of the materials dropping weren't so low that the prices were so high, and then not locking the legendary crafting behind a reputation grind instead tying it into the story imagine if 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 all the legendaries were tied behind just getting the achievement of playing the game can you imagine the difference in value that we'd be facing with more com competition in the market legendaries wouldn't even be a question of being too high in value there would be such competition that it wouldn't even be a problem so my response to people who are blaming the player base for the value of these legendaries uh, being so high is really look at the game. This is a game the players play it, but Blizzard designs it. The players aren't evil people trying to manipulate everything. They're playing the game. They're playing a base template given by Blizzard. If it works out in a bad way, it's because Blizzard have designed the game in a bad way. This is a very easy fix for Blizzard to sort out. A, make the, uh, the rarity of the materials way up so we can get way more materials. B, reduce the amount of materials required to make the legendary. C, make the rep grind completely non-existent and tie it to the story instead you have to complete the story in order to be able to buy those recipes that easy there is no longer exclusivity in the market the prices of the materials are no longer too high of course none of this is really going to happen because realistically blizzard are making a huge amount of profit from these being so exclusive being so difficult to get i mean 300k to uh, to buy a legendary that's what 20 quid 20 dollars to blizzard they're laughing why would they want to change anything at all they are making a ton of profit from you guys another one was blizzard are not to blame for the price of legendaries being so high i dispute that completely it's completely inaccurate blizzard are 100 to blame for the legendaries uh, prices being so high they've designed the game we're playing it and it's so clear that all these design choices were made by Blizzard. If you can't see that, then you're trying really hard to put your head in the sand and not blame Blizzard. This is a really clear example of them designing this game like this. Shrugs. Doesn't affect me because I don't do PvE or Battlegrounds. Well, this should affect you because the more value that is required to buy these legendaries it will have an unintended consequence 
upon your own gameplay. Whether you are a solo player, a group player, PvP, Battlegrounds, whatever it is, raiding, Mystic Plus, it doesn't matter. This is going to have a huge effect on you in the long term. This is because the economy will grow weaker as there's more gold put into the economy. And therefore, the value of average items will continue to climb to the point that you will not be able to afford it because whereas you're a typical player who only has, you know, 100, 200k to spend. Now you are, are to get a basic piece of gear, you're going to have to spend 100,000 gold because there's so much gold in the economy. So having this mentality of, well, I'm a solo player, I'm not fast, doesn't at all add up, doesn't help anything it only causes more issues and potentially allows blizzard to just continue manipulating the mass player base we already pay for this game we shouldn't have to pay more for this game just to access the player power player power should not be bought with real money this is world of warcraft please open your eyes i'm a really positive content creator for world of warcraft but i can see when this is so bad this whole game design is so terrible that the players are having to actually invest the real money to do this that's ridiculous and this is not to say that you know players have to invest the real money obviously some players can go out and grind can make that gold but i'm not on about you guys you guys know you can afford these guys I'm not being funny, I've got 4.5 million gold myself. It's not really a struggle for me to be able to afford a legendary. But I am thinking about the general player base. I am a guild master. I do have, you know, a lot of people in my guild who are having to buy legendaries. And I can see them going on about buying WoW tokens because it is so expensive. You can see that. It's the only way to stay relevant as an average WoW player. If they're working, you know, an eight or nine hour day, coming home, you know, eating dinner, watching a TV show with a missus and then getting on for two or three hours, they don't have time to get that type of gold. They've got to do all the uh, all the the unlocking of the raid. They've got to play Zeref Mortis. They don't have time to just go out and gold farm and hardcore get that gold. So they're like, you know what? I want to play the actual game. So I'm going to pay that extra money so I can get gold. So then I can buy a legendary. This is a... This is a Blizzard design choice. They, they could have easily designed this to be different. And then we've got the last type of comment, which is, I play other games and I hate World of Warcraft. I knew this would happen. Da, da, da. <laughs> there is so many people, not just on the, my previous video, but across my whole channel, who just come onto my channel and comment, I play this game or that game and World of Warcraft is so wrong. I'm so glad I don't play it anymore. Guys, I get it. If you play other games, fair play to you completely. That's completely understandable. Uh, I'm super glad you're sharing your opinion. I just wish it was more constructive and useful so that when Blizzard comes and potentially reads the comments section or watches a video like this, uh, they can actually see people are trying to be constructive with the criticism not just trying to hate for the sake of hating i've never really liked those types of content creators who make negative content for the sake of it i always like negative content to have a meaning to that's why at the start of this video when i explained what i think blizzard could do to change this uh this legendary system to fix the problem I actually offered a solution. I didn't just try to create a problem. All right. And I really think that is super, super important when you are delivering negative type of news. So I really hope that, you know, you guys are going to take this opportunity to go to the comment section and potentially tell Blizzard, tell Blizzard what you want to see in the game. I hope we can uh, we can come together to offer Blizzard some constructive criticism on this and not just hate for the sake of hate. Thanks for watching. This is Rosie Mal, and I will see you next time.